everybody, Shirley here from the James Kennedy Public Library to talk to you about the April Adult um, Craft Take and Make activity we have for you. Since it's April and it's springtime, we thought doing a flower vase would be kind of fun. And also, April is when Earth Day falls, so we've got upcycling. So what we are doing this month is um, taking a glass jar that you would get spaghetti sauce or pickles or anything like in that and upcycling it into, <coughs> excuse me, a vase like this. So your kit will include one jar. It will include a container of Mod Podge, this stuff, <laughs> in a little container like this. And it will include um, a small container of acrylic paint, a paintbrush, a foam paintbrush, and then some lace. And you can do whatever you like with putting it together. Um, use your own stuff if you've got it and also we're hoping maybe you'll upcycle some of your own glass jars so anyway this was the one I did as a sample and I think it turned out pretty nice um, so we have a couple of jars here as examples here one thing you're gonna have to make sure that you do is you get all of this sticky gooey stuff off the outside um, washing in hot water using a scrubber usually takes that off so I do have one here that is ready to go and so basically um, I just took, used my paintbrush and went over the jar, all sides of it, and I'm just going to show you. It goes on pretty slick, and it doesn't take a whole lot of paint. So um, this little container might do several of them for you. So basically, you just use it and pop it onto. We are providing acrylic paint, so it should be permanent. But if you wash it before it dries, it comes out pretty easily. So um, that is the first step for you. And I'm going to pause this and finish it because you don't need to sit and watch me do this. Um, once it's done, it needs to dry for about an hour or so before you move on to the next step. Okay? So I'm going to zoom. Ready? So it's been a little over an hour since I finished painting this one. Um, it is dry, but I can see a lot of streaks in it. I'm not sure if you can. So I am, well, I guess maybe it's not quite dry on the bottom. But um, I am going to go ahead and put a second coat on this. Um, and what I am doing is I, I start at the bottom, and then I can put it down and do the top part of it without having to touch it with my fingers. Um, and I am using this paper plate to keep the paint off of everything. So. I am just going to go ahead and do another coat on that. As you see, I've still got quite a bit of paint in here. And I'm going to start at the bottom here again. And again, I'm just going to. Um, when you're all done, if you wanted to, you could paint the bottom if you think you needed to leave it sitting upside down. I'm not sure that I think that's necessary. I probably won't do that, but I certainly could. And I think there should be plenty of paint in here to do the jar that you're given, plus maybe one or two other ones. And so, but this is acrylic paint. Um, I don't know if you can see for here, the second coat's making it much uh, more better covered. So I think that's a good idea. Um, the directions when I was looking up how to do this said if you were going to paint the outside of your jar, they recommended you use a spray paint because that's better coverage and faster. Um, but if you were going to paint it on the inside, then you, to use the brush and the acrylic like I'm doing now, um, I want to be able to add water to it if I put flowers in it so then you'd need to paint on the outside rather than on the inside but if you're just doing it to be decorative then you could do it um, on the inside okay anyway I am going to stop talking and keep painting and we'll be back when this second layer is dry thank you so I am back um, now it has been about two hours since this was st I stopped painting this and it is pretty dry and I think it's deep enough um, in color that I like it. So the other thing that comes in your kit is some kind of lace. And there might be a couple. We've got a lot of scrap lace, so you could put lace around it like this. Or we've got 
I'm not sure which one I want to do now. So we're going to use this one because it's a little bit different than what we've done before. And um, as a, in your kit, you will have a couple of different choices of, of lace to choose from. And you can also do your own thing. Maybe if you've got buttons or sequins or beads or something like that you'd want to put on it and create your own design, you can certainly do that too. So um, I need to grab a pair of scissors. So the scissors you'll have to provide on your own, but what I would recommend doing is measuring your lace to see how much you need first, and then cutting it. Um, and I'm and I'm planning to just put it right around the middle of this. I think I think that'll look pretty like that. Okay, so then um, your kit, you will also get a, a small container, uh, a portion cup with Mod Podge in it. Um, if you make sure that you've been washing your brush after you do each thing, and then you can, can just use your brush for that. And and it so so I, I think you could probably use glue for this, but the directions I all had said use Mod Podge, so that's what I'm doing. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put a layer of it on, but right around the middle. Of this. This is this is pretty wide lace, so I think we can put um, use the whole thing. And I'm gonna go around the whole thing so then when I put the lace on it, I can just put it so. So I put a layer of, of Mod Podge around it, and now I'm just going to put the lace right over the top of that. So it will stay. Now, I, this is wide lace, so once you have it lined up the way you want to, you can, you can either have it overlap if you like, if you don't mind, mind the layers, or you can trim it. I actually think it looks okay that way and then I'm gonna take and put more Mod Podge on it to, to make sure it glues the whole thing down since I only did it at the top. Mod Podge will glue clear so you don't have to worry about that. I'll just put a layer on it. See how I'm doing that? I'm just putting a heavier layer on it. It should dry clear when we're all done, hopefully. So I'm just going to keep doing this, and you don't need to watch me do this because it'll take some time to for it to, to dry after it's done. So I am going to stop the recording and we will be back when it's all done and dried. And you can take a look and see how it is then. So this is taking a little bit longer to dry than I expected. I think it's because I put quite a heavy layer of the Mod Podge over the lace. But as you can see, um, as it dries, it dries clear. And so it should all start looking like this. And then I did go ahead and decide to put a, a rim around the top with a smaller piece of lace. It's a, it's a kind of a complementary color. So I did just glue that and it's still wet too. So when you're all done, though, it should all dry and be clear, and you can have whatever design you want. This is a finished one, and I just put fake flowers in it to show you what it looked like. But um, because we painted on the outside, we are able to add water if you don't want to put cut flowers in it. Or you can put, if you have one with a lid on it and you don't put this around the top, you could put other things in it and use for storage, or you could just use it for a decorative um, container of some kind. So your kits will come with the directions. They will each include um, a jar of some kind. You may have to scrub the labels off. Some of them are in pretty good shape, some are less so. They will each come with a foam brush, a skinny piece of ribbon or lace to put around the top if you want to or wherever you like. As you see, this one I put um, two skinny pieces on it. Um, and then also a larger piece of lace that should be big enough to go around it at least once, maybe twice, depending on how you want to design it. And then each of them will also come with um, a little container of Mod Podge and then two different containers of acrylic paint. Um, if you choose, so this should be more than, one container should be more than enough to do a whole um, 
glass, but if you wanted to do a couple of them, if you've got jars at home you wanted to use, that's great. I wanted to give you a choice of color in case you got one you didn't like. Um, if you d decide not to use both of the colors, if you wouldn't mind bringing them back, well, then we can use them for another program, that would be great. But otherwise, you know, if you want to use them for something, they are yours to use. So the kits should be ready um, starting to tonight, or, well, starting today, as soon as I finish the video. And um, these are intended for adults because of the glass and the, and the acrylic paint. Um, but if you have children you want to work with, you know, as long as you're supervising, that should be fine. Thank you.